Cut the music, cut the music, cut the music, cut the music, cut the music. We're gonna actually leave that one in, I think. We're gonna just leave that intro running a little longer, just because I talked over it there. Oh well. Anyway, are we actually, yeah, we are on mute. Okay, good, cool. Hit this twice. Let's dig into this. So, Twitter is mad today, which admittedly is pretty much bog standard for Twitter. They're always mad about something. I only bring it up today because I get to dunk on Disney because, oh, what's this? Hold on. Oh, okay, never mind. Actual rumors. Hold on, I had to scroll down a couple posts here. Uh, report. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 could possibly get announced this year is in the final stages of development, but was pushed back due to production issues. Production issues being COVID. Let's just call, let's just call a spade a spade. Production issues in the year 2021 are COVID. Uh, taking place in the far future after Chronicles 2 with some returning characters. Interesting. Everybody's apparently mad about that. I thought people liked 2. Is it, is that a, hold on. I don't remember how this franchise works. They're attacking in groups. I don't want to use this tab either. Excuse me, HDMI switch. If you could work correctly. Yeah, okay. Chronicles 2 is the game I'm thinking it is. Do people really not like it? I thought people loved it. I thought that's why, you know, Pyro and Mithra were in Smash was because people loved Chronicles 2. Why is everybody mad now? But Xenoblade Chronicles 3 would be a follow-up to 2. When did this become a thing with people? By production issues, I love this comment. By production issues, I assume they mean the frame rate issues, lol. Oh, actually, Nibble did have an actual explanation for what the issues are. Pandemic issues, yeah, I said that, in general, and issues with Switch optimization since this game will have more on-screen characters than the previous titles. <sighs> I know we shouldn't say the cursed words, but I'm gonna say the cursed words. Nintendo just announced a Switch Pro. Not a Light Pro, not an OLED, just even just give us a powered supplemental dock please fix the gosh dang fps issues that's all we're asking for we're not even going to ask for stable 60 which is the industry standard just give us stable 30 please anyway back to the real reason i was looking at twitter here so folks are mad at Twitch, and I suppose I should mention that at the top because Twitch continues to have a running problem with um, apparently this new thing called hate raids, where, uh, yeah, it's exactly what it says in the tin. It's a bunch of people using botnets to go spam a person's chat with racially charged messages. I'm trying to avoid looking directly at If it seems like I never look at the webcam, there's actually a reason. And that's because, like, you sometimes see me put my finger up here, and then the lighting changes. My webcam has a built-in key, uh, key light right around it. And especially on, like, darker days like this, where I was kind of oranged out at the start, I turn that on to max, and that does not make my eyes happy to look at. So if I seem like I'm never looking at the camera directly into the camera, even when I do, you know, like the office look, that's why. I'm looking way over this way, though. It's because I'm actually looking at uh, XSplit. Anyway, yeah, Twitch, do better, please. Flower petals and birds. Hmm. 
モーコの求めに応じなかったようだ何かを命がけで守ったようだ見つけてやらねばこれは一番目の。Where? I don't see it. Was I supposed to see something? I see blood here. I'm assuming that we're supposed to follow the blood? There's more blood. There's more, which tells me then that they went this way. Up here. Question is, where did they go from here? Or did they not ever go this way? No, they had to have because it was on this turn. So, one of these forks is right. Since that just doubles us back. By the way, that's a shrine out there. Which, yeah, I have marked as a shrine. Gives me a range charm, though. That's kind of cool. Oh, hang on a minute. I need that. That's a cricket. I haven't been finding many of those. As far as I can tell, the trail goes cold here. Let's take a look around this area, see if we find anything. There must be something I'm missing. This just leads us out, so he couldn't have gone this way. That means he must have gone this way. But this way also just leads us out. Search for the hidden item. Trail's been going cold here, so let's look. Unless if. Hang on. Here we go. So he went this way, got hit, changed path. Okay. Here's where he was initially ambushed. There's the flowers. Kore was so good, you get the other one. Moko got a cockishta got the mono, Koreko, she did a no bootsigana. It's a relic belonging to the temple. Well, that's a ways away. We'll do that one at some other point. Let's do the shrine. We'll return that later when we get to that part of the story. Oh! Well, that would be、uh, the shrine, all right. I can tell I'm gonna like this shrine as a puzzle. I can tell I'm gonna like it. Because again, it's one of these like flat, like wide area shrines. And it's definitely a unique idea. 
I can tell already. It's not, you know, the typical climbing puzzles. Although it looks like it might turn into him soon. Even then, though, like... Look at this path. Look at all these little, like... Well, bamboo forest bits. Like, it's just... It's different in a unique sort of way. Now we've come to the beach. And here's where the jumping puzzle kicks in at. But... Honestly, the path down to here was cool. This is a place that has seen better days. I suspect the tide has an effect here, which is interesting. Hmm. I think I see what we do here. Yep. It's already different. Normally that would be like you have to take a long way around. It was just a nice little side path that you had to locate and figure out how to get onto it. It wasn't even that, like, you know, you had to play coy or anything. Hello? Okay, goodbye. I thought maybe, maybe the seagull meant something, like it was a secret item or something, but nope. It was just a seagull. Hmm. I'm assuming there's a bridge out up here. Well, there's something out. This is very much an open kind of shrine here. In a good way. that. So down here was just for flowers. Interesting. I don't need flowers, but I got them anyway. Never know, I might like the black dye on one of those uh, armor pieces I haven't gotten yet. Never know. Now where am I? I'm going back the way I came. Hold on, this is wrong. Now I like, I definitely like this shrine set up here. It's very interesting. It's less, you know, like a lot of the Area 1 shrines were like, that little like climbable ledge would just be the entire way down to the ground. And it's just like, okay, walk to the side. Here's the climb. Just spend your time climbing. This one, meanwhile, it's a lot more like, can you figure out how to clear this gap? It's... I guess, like, less of an apparent solution. It's like, here's a bunch of platforms. They're spaced just far enough apart that you might not think you can clear it, but then if you run, you can clear it. And it's about trying to figure out, okay, I need to get there. How do I get there? Can I get to this platform? It's... Like an open kind of experience compared to like the tutorial esque early ones. And I am at a bit of a loss for ideas. Is there a grapple point I'm missing? Ooh. 
Thank you for the mail coming through. Gmail for reminding me. I just hit the wrong thing entirely. I want to go into Sound Mixer, and I realize this on Friday's stream. I want to kill system sounds. So that there's none of those ba ba bum window noises. There's gotta be another way around. Am I missing something I can grab? It'd be weird if this whole stretch was just for flowers, right? I think it might be though. This might be our way back, actually, is what this was. Let's head back to that gate. See if we miss something. I wasn't coming at that with enough energy to... Definitely not missing anything here. What about in here? Am I missing something in here? <gasps> Moments like these, I wish this game had a first person mode. Supposed to be standable or no? I think the answer is no. Okay, I'm definitely missing something. There is something to this puzzle that I am just plain missing. I can't climb the. Okay, I just want to make sure I didn't commit the ultimate dumb and just forget that I could climb the vine. how you get up into here. That's just how we got down to here. This has got to be the right answer. You can't climb down from there. That's just if you were to not do a speed jump. So this has to be the answer. The question is, how? What am I missing? I think I see what I'm missing. Yep. There was a little ledge there. See, I do kind of like... See, I complained a little about like the ledge climbing. That was a neat little one, because it was tucked in a corner I wouldn't have looked at. Like, it blends in with the background. So I think I'm missing something here. Or I'm just really bad at aiming. It turns out the really bad at aiming option was the right. So now we're over here, we're where we would have been. It's a nice pit down there. Oh, 
Okay, it puts. Oh, okay. It puts me right next to the climb spot, too. Okay, I need to figure out where I'm supposed to be going here. Cross these. And I think that's the end of it. That was a nice little puzzle. I liked it. Also, I like how I started off stream talking about how Twitter is mad and I still haven't even explained the actual reason Twitter was mad. That's how mad Twitter has been today. Is I talked about two reasons they're mad, and didn't even talk about the reason I mentioned that Twitter is mad. What do we got here? Arrows are silent on impact. Ooh. That is a nice one. Especially for a sneaky setup here. Is that a major charm too? I think that's a ma that is a major charm. Can I get to that? I think I can. Ooh. Oh yeah, I can. I wonder how far I can take this. Let's find out. But it goes all the way to the start. It does go all the way back to the start. Look at that. Actually, let's go through the forest again. It's probably easier than backtracking that whole way. While we do that, we can talk about the other reason Twitter's mad today. Because it lets me dunk on Disney for a bit. So, Disney made the bright idea that let's take our promotional account for MCU Captain America and use it to promote What If. Which on the surface seems logical because it's a promotional account. But it made Twitter angry because of course it did. Because to promote what if they had to replace their current avatar of Sam Wilson's Captain America with what if's Peggy Carter. Which of course because Twitter can't help itself they turned into this like for some reason, a competition between, you know, that they're gonna erase the the current Captain America and replace him with Peggy Carter in the movies, which isn't even true, and the entire experience was just rather frustrating. But it also reminded me of the fact that this was probably Disney's entire intention from the start is look at all of this free publicity they just got because people on Twitter couldn't spend five seconds thinking. And instead had to immediately start mass trending hashtags about this affront to themselves. Like y'all, you all really don't think that uh, Disney and other companies of their caliber haven't figured out that you can, you know, weaponize Huh. Well, this is different. I haven't figured out how to weaponize, like, Twitter outrage. Really, folks? Come on. Let's fight this man. Also, this is the reason that I'm still never getting into the MCU, because its fans are insane. Frankly, I wasn't ever going to even get into com the comics, but uh, there's there was one that was good enough that I did. <laughs> Well, you seem kind question mark 
This is a duel. I'm going to put on my dueling set, by the way. Where is it? There it is. Where are my charms on this thing, anyway? Health out of combat. Bonus damage while at low health. Moderately reduces damage taken. Moderately reduces all damage. Moderate increase to melee. 50% chance for arrows to deal no damage. That I don't need anymore because I now have the skill to just reflect them. So let's go ahead and change that to vitality, probably. Actually, yeah, let's just do the Inari's Might. All right, buddy. As you wish, then. The Duel of Crashing Waves. I figured out how these buttons work again. I'm closer. You fool! Waves. I'll, 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 I'll give him a bow. He deserved it. I don't know how my horse got down here. I'm not even going to really think about it. I mean, he, you know, he waited around patiently. He didn't, you know, jump me or ambush me or anything. He did... He did right. He gets a bow. I wonder if there's more like that. That was kind of cool. I wish it had actually a reward to it. Like, it doesn't have to be, I guess, a fancy reward. I was trying to think for a moment about what it could reward. Like, I guess... It could be a charm for it. Actually, this, like, evolving charm that I get for doing Fox Shrines now, I'd almost like for that to be attached to, like, duels like that. Because, like, the more of those duels I win, the stronger the charm gets. And have the Fox Shrines give something else. Like, health and damage seems like a charm you'd get for, you know, dueling people. Fox Shrines could give me, like, more of a utility charm or something. Or even just more charm slots. In general. A 
Well, now where do I go? I guess I go up here, which means I'm going to actually warp to the farmstead. Bird? I think the bird just clipped into the rock. I'm not going to concern myself with it any further. I will, however, go the other direction because I'm going the wrong way. Anyway, yeah. M uh, MCU bad. Disney definitely exploiting Twitter outrage for free marketing. Comics. I can't even say comics better. Like, I'll be honest. Don't expect to, like, come here, watch the VODs or anything, and have me, like, gushing over, oh my god, look at this amazing thing in, like, mainline spot. No, I actually... Part of what I don't like about MCU storytelling is also what I don't like about general uh, Marvel storytelling. Is there's just too much of it. Like, I'm not necessarily a fan of, like, having big, sprawling, like, interconnected multiverse. Well, not multiverse. Multiverse is actually probably the better part of it. I don't like big, sprawling, like, single universe. Like, I don't see why, like, the space Marvel stuff has to be in the same universe as, you know... Heckle Freckle Spider-Man. I gotta focus on this one. Well, this is gonna be a pain. Circle L1 squ That square is gonna screw me up, I guarantee you. That, you know, the square is screwing me up, but it's actually the triple square. There we go. I do like these. These are nice. Difficult, but nice. Anyway, we oh yeah, Marvel. Why I don't like Marvel today. But yeah, I'm in, I'm in the camp that says, like, you don't need to have everything in the same universe. In fact, I think I prefer, like, superhero stuff in general when it's more stripped down. Like, there's a reason that I like, you know, the video game and the old movies and such for Spider-Man. is because it's, it's stripped down and it focuses on the character. Well, that's dangerous. It focuses on just the character that it needs to. If you ask me, cinematic universes and, like, a singular main world that everything exists in, I don't, I don't need it. Just, like, give me this is the universe that's got this character. Or, like, this group of characters. And then... Over here's this universe, like, here's the universe that has the Avengers and Avengers adjacent groups. Here's the universe that's got, like, Spider Man and Spider Man adjacent groups. Here's, you know, the space themed one. Here's X Men over here. And they're individualized bubbles that don't interconnect much. Strip it. I prefer, the, I prefer it stripped down as opposed to everything in one. Anyway. Haiku about preservation. I don't like that sky. That's a terrible sky. We're not picking that one by default. Fortress of Strength. There should be a third one somewhere around here. There it is.
Was it preservation or was it perseverance? I think it was perseverance. Holding ever fast. Path never known. <laughs> Viewing the future. Niso Nari. I'm pretty sure that said preservation. Hold on. Yeah, it's pres. I I disagree that any of that was about preservation, but okay. Hey, look, black smoke. Where are we facing? South, huh? What could we be looking at that far south? This is one of those Breath of the Wild Vista moments, by the way. One of those, I'm sure, is the temple. Looks like... On the coast of the ocean and somewhat upwards from there. No, no, no there's the temple right there. Which means, yeah, those are two Mongol installations down south there. Interesting. Well, I guess... This will just take us down roads we've already traveled, so let's head to camp here. Head to camp and then let's head towards I guess the next archery quest. When do you fall over? Whatever. What do you have for me? Not much. Alright, we're into unexplored territory again. Who knows what we'll find? Probably suffering. Maybe some straw hats. I'm saying this is the way we have to go. Oh, that's fire. That's just fire. Only fire lives there now. Is there a climb down spot here at all? Yes. Yes, there is. It's a 
tall one is what it is. でございます。さかい。どうしてこう先生。これも友への仕業ですか。もうことあばれ回っておるわ。ランという娘が居所を知っておる。行きましょう。Here And they let her live? Doesn't that seem suspicious to you? They stumble upon it, everyone else is killed, and she's let go. This is a trap. かつてこの地を住みかにしていた族と。Right, Suspicious, but okay. Mishigawa no Hamato, Kavano Ida des. Tomo Emi, Sazuketa Wazamo, Agasta Himitsumo, Mudanio Water, Washimo Uita. No, they were so sweet. I'd like to mount my horse, please. Gozunji Nakatano des. いさかいの前、友恵を養子にとって跡取りにしようと考えておった。友恵にとってそれは行幸であったはず。だが取り下げた。あやつが人殺しだから。わしが未熟だったからだ。元の暮らしに戻してしまった。良い暮らしができる機
分析のよそうであろう Confirmation that、uh, she's been working here. Question is. Mukuroma Matoni Saretorimus. Makoto Tomoerashi. Yae also. Tomoeo Miotos de Nizo. Cocorotorimus. Mazua Unuskaike. Good idea. Because I'm going to. Remember, my arrows are now silent on impact. Important to remember. Dang it. Dang it. All right, back to the normal, though. Dang. Got a helmet on. Can we fill my arrows here? No? Okay. Oh, there we go. You have arrows on you. Alright, what are we here to find? Probably some note or something somewhere. Oh, there we go. Archers are dead. He's dead as all get out, by the way. Well, then again, this isn't the last quest, so he's probably not dead yet. This is a trap. No, this is a trap. Sakai Jin Dane Ishkawa no Inu. Omaiwa Kamekoski Mira Yo Torikoboshita, Yumi no Tensai. So you are a tongue. Tomoe, Danwanga Nozomika. Omaini Osieti Aroto. You dance through to Sasarelio. What does no yoni? ついてる。見方もいない。一人だ。弓を下ろせと。なぜ飛び降りた。どこに消えた。先生に伝えねば。Hundred percent odd she survived that, by the way. Hundred percent odds.
I just want to see if there's anything interesting around here. I'm going to see where this bird is. I'm assuming this bird is just pointing me back to where I need to be for this quest, but I guess we can follow it and find out. Oh no, it's pointing me to a haiku spot. And also a couple of looks like straw hats. I do need to also split up the VOD here soon. I'll probably do it after this haiku. Be a nice little cliffhanger if you want to find out if, uh, since the Ishikawa survived, you're going to have to, uh, tune in for the next VOD part. I have no idea, by the way, what we're reflecting on. Survival. Twisted and flailing. Stretch hands left to find. Answers never found. Man, Breath of the Wild, that would have mounted me on my horse. <laughs> Actually, you know what? We're going to fight these guys honorably. And that means we'll fight them after we split the VOD, because I'm actually a little overdue for doing that. So, you know, this is the part where I uh, take a couple minute break on Twitch, take a couple day break on YouTube. You know how this works. I'm just going to go right into it. Boop.